Designing with succulents can be a lot of fun, whether it's designing a large landscape in the ground or just a small pot for your porch or in your house. But it can be a little bit overwhelming too, not knowing exactly what succulents to combine or what'll look good together. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a few design tips to help make sure your succulent arrangements look awesome and make them easy to put together. First, let's talk about color. There's three basic color schemes that will help you coordinate your succulents better to really make your arrangements look unified and intentional. The first color scheme is monochromatic. This means you're using succulents all of the same color. So maybe you picked all greens and then you're just using various shades and tints and tones of greens. So you've got everything from like a really light green to a really deep dark green. Monochromatic color schemes are great when you want something that's unified and subtle. Next is complementary colors. Complementary colors are those that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So for example, red and green, or blue and orange, or purple and yellow. When you use these colors together, they enhance the colors and make them seem more vibrant. This is a really great combination if you want a really striking succulent arrangement that's gonna really stand out and get noticed. Lastly, we have analogous colors. These are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So for example, you might do blue, green, and yellow, or red, purple, and orange. But again, they're just colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. This makes for a really unified arrangement, but it's a little bit more exciting than a monochromatic arrangement because you have a little bit more variety in color. Remember that your pot is a color as well, so you need to consider that, not just the color of your succulents when you're designing your arrangement. What color schemes are you most attracted to with succulent arrangements? Or are there certain color combinations you find yourself frequently working with? Tell me in the comments below. Height is also an important factor when designing with succulents. One of my favorite recipes to work with is Thriller, Filler, Spiller. This refers to the relative height of the succulents used in the arrangement. First, you have Thriller. This is a succulent that's tall and it stands out above all the rest of the succulents. Next, we have Filler. Fillers tend to be a little bit shorter than their Thriller counterpart, and you'll find more of them in an arrangement. Spillers are succulents that go over the edge of your arrangement. A really great example is String of Pearls or also Portulacaria afra variegata. These are plants that hang over the edge of the pot or if they're in the ground, they're ones that are spreading along the ground and really flowing out from the arrangement. When you're designing potted succulent arrangements, you'll also want to consider the proportions of your plants to your pot. My friend Cindy Davison at The Succulent Perch is amazing at using proportions to make her arrangements look really balanced. What she recommends is using the rule of thirds. So if your pot is one third, then your succulent should be about two thirds taller than the pot. This means that the height of your pot is either one third of the total height or two thirds of the total height, and then your succulents fill in the rest. Next, let's talk about texture and shape. When I say texture, sometimes I mean the actual texture of the leaves of your succulent. Other times I refer to the general appearance of a succulent. For example, agaves have really sharp leaves and so their texture is really sharp and jagged. On the other hand, a Kalanchoe tomentosa has a really soft, fuzzy look to its leaves and so it has a softer look in an arrangement. When you're choosing succulents, you might wanna pick textures that contrast. For example, having a succulent with really rounded leaves and then a succulent with more pointed leaves. You could also contrast the texture of the leaves themselves using a succulent like Kalanchoe tomentosa that has fuzzy leaves and a succulent that has smooth leaves. You'll want to consider the shape of your succulents as well. If you wanna create a unified arrangement, you could create one with just rosette shaped succulents. Or if you wanna add more contrast, use a few rosette succulents, a few that are branchier, and then maybe some that are tall or slender. 
Most people find that combining a variety of textures is a great way to add interest to their succulent arrangement. Do you prefer to work with lots of shapes or tend to focus on just one? Leave a comment below and tell me. With these three different guidelines for design, color, height, texture, and shape, you'll be able to find the perfect recipe of succulents to combine together to make a stunning arrangement. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all of your succulent loving friends, and I'll see you next time.